Community Quail Valley students, my name is Mrs. Kentola and I'm the assistant principal at Quail Valley. And today we're going to be talking about the Cougar Path to Success. Quality work, value learning, make responsible choices, and show respect. So go ahead and get out your binder reminder that you have for this year and turn to the first page. The first page has our Cougar Path to Success on it and underneath our Quail Valley mantra, which is Quail Valley Middle School is a community of academic achievers that promote positive, responsible, and respectful behavior. Now turn to page seven in your binder reminder where you'll find the matrix for the school-wide path to success. For today, we're gonna to be talking about specifically what does quality work look like at Quail Valley Middle School? You'll see on the matrix that there's six different areas, lunchtime, bathrooms, common areas like hallways and the quad, the bus area, offices, and classrooms. So what does quality work look like at Quail Valley for my favorite time of the day? Lunchtime. It includes following directions of all staff. It doesn't matter if it's your teacher or a campus monitor, a counselor, a kitchen staff person. Follow those directions. And that includes walking down to lunch with your teacher when you come down at lunchtime. Stay in a single file line when you're in line for lunch. And keeping your hands to yourself. Nobody likes people in line poking them or messing with them. So make sure you do that as well. And quality work in bathrooms. Can't believe we have to actually talk about it, but we want to. So quality work in bathrooms at Quail Valley means making sure you get your trash into the trash can, not on the floor. Keeping not only mirrors clean as it lists in your binder reminder, but the floors and the stalls clean. Make sure, yes, please flush. Nobody wants to see that. And wash your hands for at least 20 seconds and with soap. And also only use what you need to use with paper towels and toilet paper. Please don't be wasteful. So what's quality work look like in common areas like hallways or the quad? Well, first of all, it's being quiet when you're, while other classes are in session and being respectful. We have multiple lunches. So when you're going back to class, other classes might be in session or doing their work or blah, 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 random blooper, watch for the next one. Um, lining up outside of your classroom. However, the teacher has that assigned. Just make sure that you follow those directions. Keeping the hallways clear, and again, always walking because safety comes first. Open out. I changed which side of the background I'm on. Did you catch that? So do you ride the bus? If not, listen anyway. So what does quality work look like at the bus? Well, first of all, it means staying in a single file line to line up. Did you know that your bus driver can actually assign seats? Yep, just like in class, they can tell you where to sit. So if kids are cutting in line or not being respectful, we encourage bus drivers to set up an assigned seat so then that way they don't have to worry about who gets on first or saving. So keep that in mind. Always be respectful with your bus driver. Be orderly and make sure that your bus pass is visible when entering the bus. That means in the morning and in the afternoon. The column on page seven of your binder reminder about quality work is about offices. Hey, here's a quick quiz, pop quiz. How many offices do we have at Quail Valley? Teachers, you can pause here. Pause, ask your kids, hey, zoom in, are you pausing? If your answer was three, then you're correct. We have a main office, student services office, and we have the Cougar Support Center. The main office, what happens in there? Well, when you come onto campus late or you're tardy, attendance is there. There's also a phone for students to use in the main office. So if you wanna come in there to use the phone, you're always welcome to do so. The second office is the student support office. And in the student support office is ASB, as well as the health office if you don't feel well. And me, come by and say hi. And the third office is the Cougar Support Center. That's probably the most important one for all of you because in there is the Dean of Students, as well as both of your counselors. Ms. Morastica helps students with the last name A through L, and Mrs. Jones helps students with the last name M through Z. And they're gonna, you're gonna be meeting them later in the week. But those three offices are important. So make sure that when you go into those workspaces that you respect their work, the workspace of others, that you respond to a greeting. Like if they say, good morning, we'd love to hear you say, good morning, how are you? And the last is always, and this is just for everything, not just for the offices, always use please and thank you. We have good manners here at Quail Valley.
Now we're going to talk about quality work in the classrooms. Scope out how the cougar is hanging on to the sign. Love it! So what does quality work look like in your classrooms? Your teachers will be going over that in more detail, but I wanted to talk about a few things that are listed in your binder on page seven in that last column. And the first one is putting forth your best effort. Well, what's that mean? Well, some things that I think of are writing neatly. Like if you're doing a math assignment and you have to show your work, make sure you take pride in that and write neatly. Revise and edit your work before you submit an assignment. Check and make sure, is it all complete? Have I checked all the things that I need to do and answered all the questions that the teachers asked of me? Don't forget to bloopers. Hello. So the next part of quality work under best effort is things like checking for spelling, grammar, punctuation. All those things show that you are committed to quality work in your classrooms. The next thing listed there is following directions. Reread your assignment before you submit it. Is your name on your paper? Did it require a signature from your parents or from you? Make sure that you're following any directions that your teacher gives you. And the last one, complete assignments on time. Make sure, do you know what the due date of your assignment is? Let me show you where you can write that down in your binder reminder. So if you turn to the middle of your binder reminder, and a lot of you already know this, there's a calendar there. You need to write down assignments, when they're due, um, when you have a test coming up or a notebook or something. This is a tool that we provide you to write down things so you can have quality work and you can meet those deadlines when your teachers have those. So make sure you're using the calendar portion of your binder reminder every day. The other part of quality work in a classroom that has to do with completing assignments on time is knowing what your teacher's late work assignment or late work policy is. If you're getting to the point where you think that you're gonna struggle to get something turned in on time, Please talk to your teacher beforehand, before the due date, and ask them if you can have a little bit of extra time to complete your assignment. A lot of times they'll give you grace in that area if you just ask ahead of time and don't wait till the last minute. So that's it. The first step in the Cougar Path to Success is quality work. We'll start on value learning, make responsible choices, and show respect coming next. Thanks. Have a great day. So come by and say hi sometime because that was easy.